What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators of the superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are doing a new weapons review again if you guys have been following me pretty closely you would have seen my unboxing a little bit ago I think it was two weeks ago what, from you guys from when you're watching this I don't really know I, I know it's like a week ago from when I'm recording this but I got a bunch of new toys from Mega Knife, and I am going to review them for you just like I promised you I would. Uh, and so today, we're going to be going over the Dart Shooter. Now guys, this Dart Shooter is actually really cool, I'm not going to lie to you. It is pretty dope. But it does have some things that I wish were better on it. Uh, and we're going to talk about both the, both the dope parts and the kind of lackluster parts that I wish were better. But still, overall, pretty cool and you're, uh, let me explain to you why. So first, I want to talk about the things that come with the dart shooter when you get it. You will get this package when you buy the dart shooter. It comes with a belt strap that you can strap along your waist and keep with you if you are ever in, you know, a situation where you think you might need some form of self-defense, which for self-defense, this is actually really good. It's actually surprising. It's actually surprisingly good for self-defense. I didn't actually think it would be very good for self-defense. Welcome to the first meeting of complete self-defense for women. And I'll go into that in a second. But it comes with two of these. It comes with 10 darts for you guys. So you basically get two full loads right off the bat. You got 10 total shots. Now let's get into the fun part. Our dart shooter, which I have set up right here, doesn't come already set up. You have to do this yourself, which I think is a great idea because this dart thing is way stronger than I anticipated. Like way stronger than I anticipated. And I'll show you uh, a video of me shooting it during the video at some point. Well, I'll show you videos of me shooting this uh, in the video. So the way it works is this top part slides off. This is gonna be your safety. It has notches in there, just like that, that are used, if you can see that, that are used to keep the buttons from being able to be pressed down, keeping the system from being able to accidentally fire. So you can have this on your belt and it won't accidentally go off when you bump into anything because you can't actually fire it when the safety's on. However, when the safety's off, be careful because this thing packs a punch. But before uh, I get into that, on the back side, you also get a, um, a compass. So for whatever reason, no one ever uses a compass anymore. But if you do use a compass, it's got you covered. Now each dart will when loaded will correlate with a specific button i don't know if you can see it, it's all black it will correlate with a specific button so you press that button and just that dart fires that allows you to fire uh multiple at once or one at a time depending on what your situation is and how you need to use it for self-defense that gives you a lot of choice when defending yourself it gives you a lot of flexibility and makes this a better tool for self-defense each dart will basically look like this. It will fit slide in there and you can push it in and it will be ready to go once it clicks into the machine. However, there's basically two modes is what I've gotten from this. Uh, and it involves this plastic cap right here. Now you can choose to keep this on and when practicing shooting into cardboard boxes or anything like that, I suggest keeping it on because this thing shoots so fast that without it, it will it may go through whatever target you're in. It may just get lost in the target. And so keeping that on there actually actually slows it down enough so that it stops when it hits the target. So it's a, kind of a safety on each dart, more or less. It won't penetrate too deep. It also acts as kind of a stun mode for self-defense, whether it will hurt somebody, but it won't actually penetrate very deep. However, you can take this cap off like that and that makes this a whole different more a whole different ball game this thing when the cap is off moves i am speed this thing flies it from a decent distance from a, sh a relatively short distance you can penetrate someone and have this stuck in their body or in your target uh should that be you know cardboard or foam whatever you're shooting 
without that cap, it could get lost in a target. It could get lost in someone's stomach or something like that. You're gonna have some harder time when coming up against harder solid objects. So shooting metal or bone even, you're gonna have a little bit harder time going through it, but anything relatively soft, cardboard, meat, foam, styrofoam, it's gonna, it's gonna fly through, it's easy. So because of how this all works, the multiple buttons and the safety on the pins, you can have certain ones set for stun and certain ones set for, for kill because that will do some damage if hit in the right spot like the throat or the stomach or uh, other uh, sensitive body parts. <laughs> Now guys, there are a couple things that this can improve on, and that is pushing the pin back in. Now I understand that the spring has to be very strong in order for it to work so effectively, but uh, pulling the, the spring down separately or having some way to push the pin easily into the object or into the launcher uh, is definitely the suggest the biggest suggestion I have for this. I currently have to push it up, up against my target to push it up against a surface that won't stab my hands if I slip or anything like that because I don't suggest pushing it in with your hands because the spring is so powerful. If your fingers slip, you might stab your hand, and that would suck. I would not. That would not be good for anybody. Well, at least it's not raining. So that is one of my strongest suggestions. My second suggestion is making the buttons a little bit um, easier to distinguish. Uh, I know it's easy to, because of how it is and because of the way it feels, it kind of gets simple and you can like press multiple buttons without realizing it or without meaning to. So having a kind of point where you can tell one button is different without having to look at it is idea. Kind of like how the F uh, key on your keyboard has a little divot so you can tell which one's the F key. Something similar to that on this would make it a lot better in my opinion. So I'm out here testing our launcher on a relatively windy day and I just wanted to let you guys know that our reliability is a decent range for self-defense purposes. Obviously this isn't gonna hold up to a gun or anything like that with that kind of range. But this does hold up at a five foot distance. It will reliably stick into a target at at least five feet. And it will reliably hit a target at a little bit farther away than that, around six or seven feet. So for any non-firearm related self-defense use, this will work great. Guys, I definitely suggest checking this out yourself. It is amazing if you, um, are needing something to carry in your purse or on your belt or whatever that is self-defense related. Uh, maybe you live in a rough area or something like that. This is excellent for that reason. It comes out easily. It uh, will stay loaded. It has a nice and effective safety, and it will do. It will protect you very, very well. If you guys have a particular weapon that you want me to review, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm looking for more stuff to review, looking for more gadgets and toys that you guys want to hear about. So if you have anything in mind that you want me to review, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Guys, we're getting very, very close to 25,000 and I'm very excited for it. So if you want to get involved on in the giveaway, information on how to do that is down in the description. It's super easy. It's basically just commenting and making sure you're subscribed and stuff like that. But with all that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.